What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about one of the coolest looking mics, the Shure 55 Deluxe, and how to make it even better. So, this microphone just looks really cool. However, it has a couple of problems that can be easily fixed. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. The problem that we have with this microphone primarily is the plosive in the close proximity effect. So as you hear, uh, you hear all the plosives. All the plosives are very pronounced in this microphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and show you how to open it up. And I'm going to put extra windscreen material in there, which is that blue stuff you see. And it's going to look just like it is. Check it out. Here's the way it sounds, obviously, right now without the extra windscreen. And you can hear all the plosives. So panda, platypus, uh, proximity effect, and all the sounds are coming through. Uh, what I did is I picked up with some windscreen uh, material. It's going to simply help protect the sound from being all plosive -y. Let's Let's demonstrate. So platypus, panda, platypus, panda, platypus, panda. Platypus panda, platypus panda, platypus panda, platypus panda, platypus panda. So we're just gonna open it up, cut it open, uh, and install it. It should be pretty easy, right? I think everybody can do it. And it's gonna make this microphone so much better than it already is because it's already a great microphone. But like I said, those close proximity plosives are in the recordings and in the mix. And if you're performing live, it's simply not the optimal thing to have when you are trying to get up and close and, and sing nice and soft or speak nice and soft and suddenly you say platypus. So here we are. We're going to have all of our tools and everything we need here. We have a Phillips style screwdriver. I got a little saucer to put my screws into so I don't lose them. I have a knife because I will be cutting some of this windscreen material. And I have my windscreen material. So let's go ahead and open it up. So now we have the mic open. So we're going to put some of this windscreen material in here like so. And we're also going to remove this cartridge. Always try to remember where the screws go. Be careful not to remove any of the wires because then you'll probably have a big problem. And this is what it looks like inside. So we've opened it up fully. There's a total of eight screws. Very easy, all Phillips head. Thank you, Shore. You guys are awesome. Um, be very careful not to rip these wires out because then you're not gonna have a good time. You really aren't. It's an expensive mic. Um, you know, it's not a cheap mic. It's, it's definitely not the most expensive mic. But, so we're gonna go ahead and start measuring some of this windscreen material. Here I am, I'm just gonna give it a, just gonna wrap it around like that. And then we'll make some adjustments, but make sure you have a very nice and sharp uh, exacto blade, knife, scissors, whatever, whatever you're gonna use. I would also say you should have something underneath here, underneath the windscreen, just to protect your table, whatever work surface you have. And I'm actually gonna go get that right now. So I'm just using some old newspapers. Now 
now we've cut it. Now I'm just going to give it a quick test fit and see how it sits inside. It's probably much too big as it is right now. Actually, so I measured it one way, but it fits the other way. So I'm actually thinking about thinning it out a little bit because it does dampen the sound just a little bit. So I'm just going to try to thin it out and see how that works. So it seems like that's probably impossible. So I'm going to say I'm using about a a two by three and a half inch piece. Mm, it's slightly bigger than a business card. So what you're going to need is a couple of things. I've already disassembled my microphone. Um, there's four screws here and then there's four screws on the cartridge found inside like so and I will point to them one two three four um, I have a little saucer where I keep my screws so I don't lose them they don't go anywhere I put my cartridge out and be careful not to pull any of those wires out because you will have a bad day um, I've taken my windscreen material and I cut a piece like this it's like it's a little bit bigger than a business card, so it's probably two and a half inches by almost four inches. Yeah, I, th I think that's about four inches by two and a half inches. You know, I've cut it already. We're going to, it seems to sit and fit quite snugly already. I'm just going to make some slight adjustments to it. Uh, and I think it'll probably a great, be a great fit. So I'm going to cut it on these sides here so that when I push it in, it fits even better. I've also put newspaper underneath so I don't end up destroying my table. Now I'm going to clip these ends with a scissor. In fact, unfortunately, the little piece I cut here is just a little too small. It might work for the back side, but I'm going to use a slightly bigger piece. So this is a 3x4 piece. Be careful not to cut the original. So this foam I'm using is about twice as thick as the original. I really wish that Shore had made it to, uh, at this thickness because um, I, I, I do want that protection from plosives. But this is just a test, so who knows? Maybe I won't even, maybe I'll take it out, but I'm trying it out, so. Believe it or not, it closes pretty well. So I'm going to trim it just a little bit more because it's just a slightly too snug fit. So now I'm actually test fitting the back piece. So the back piece requires a little bit less foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it 
the ends on each side by about a quarter of an inch and then try and see how it fits. So it already fits pretty nice, but I'm gonna shorten it. So the camera cut off, um, the battery died. So here we are, I have been clipping this and I've reinstalled the cartridge into the back part with the screws and I have you could see inside that I have actually installed the the windscreen uh, barely noticeable um, and I was saying that I think that you know it is it is perhaps just a little bit too much and it's gonna dampen it um, so I left the blue inside because I like the blue color and this is just a test perhaps I'm gonna see if there's a way I can thin it out just a little bit just to have more of that top end so now I have the front end on and I'm just gonna start putting the screws on there you have it I have successfully installed the windscreen protection additional windscreen protection and now we're gonna see what it sounds like so there you have it um I just installed the windscreen material inside of this mic and uh, I don't know can you hear the difference I just tested it right before and honestly I it's very difficult to hear a difference uh, I will actually go in and analyze it and use a spectrum analyzer and see if it's if it's any different really um, one thing I can notice is you can really get up on that mic and speak with all the plosives and all that air and um, I don't think it's there anymore right the panda platypus proximity effect is not as strong as it was before and for me that is something that I really wanted in this mic because it is simply a, a beautiful mic uh, however it, so, you know it's just for some reason they didn't have enough windscreen material why I don't know um, but it was a fun project we got this video out of it and hopefully if you are experiencing a problem like this or even if you are not using this mic and you are experiencing some kind of problems with uh plosives and sound from the air uh check it out it's called windscreen material um i mean i i you got it from adorama i'll probably put a link in the description below you can check it out and you can see what you think uh, you can add this to any microphone you use and it'll simply take out all the air So thanks for watching uh, Be sure to subscribe for more content uh, Let me know in the comments below what you think does it sound different does it sound the same? Can you even tell the difference does it sound worse does it sound better and if you have any other content you want to see me do on my channel simply leave a comment be sure to subscribe and tune in next week for more stuff